Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video. If you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And if you are a subscriber, I appreciate it so much that you have subscribed. I still don't have a very high percentage of my viewers that are subscribed. So if that's you, if you, you know who you are, if you're one of those people watching my videos but not subscribed, come on, just hit the button. So of course I have another Timu haul for you today, a variety of items as usual. I like to kind of have a variety of things so that, you know, depending on what your interests are, that hopefully there will be something that, that interests you. All the products in the video will be listed down in my description box down below. As well down there is my affiliate link. So if you are new to Timu and you've never made a purchase before, if you click on my link and download the app, you will get a 30% off your first order as well as a $100 coupon bundle. So, you know, Timu has great prices as it is, but if you can get that little bit extra off, I mean, it's, it's a great deal on things. So they also have an excellent return policy. You have up to 90 days to return items and you get one free return label per order. So really great setup that they have and uh, really no real risk to making a purchase because you can always return it. All right, let's get into it then. Starting out with some pajamas and these are Valentine's pajamas. They are plus size. I got them in a 5X. They are available in 1X through 5X. I wanted the 5X because I wanted to make sure that they were gonna fit and be comfy. I paid $16.11 for these and they are currently $19.33. They are 95% polyester and 9% elastane. So they are long sleeves. Just a plain black shirt that says love with a heart, just plain on the back. It does not have a seam down the back, which a lot of Timu tops do have, and I don't particularly like. So I like that it doesn't have that nice, soft feeling material. And then matching it is the pajama pants that have the same love on them with hearts all over. And they are also like full, they are full length pants. So just an elasticated waist. You'll see on my try on clip how they fit. As I said, I ordered the 5X mainly because I figured I would need it for the bottoms and the bottoms, I, in my opinion, fit perfectly. I, I love how the bottoms fit. The top is maybe a little big for me, but you know what? It's pajamas. It's going to be very comfy and I'm okay with that. The top is actually a bit longer than I was expecting. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit shorter based on what I had read in the description, but but no, I, I'm, I'm really happy with these pajamas. I definitely would be willing to order more pajamas off of Timu now that I've uh, tried a pair. So yeah, I definitely recommend these. I've heard good things about the pajamas on Timu from others and I concur, I agree now. Yeah, they're definitely a good deal. Okay, our next clothing item is this plus size casual blouse. It was $16.58 when I purchased it, and it's currently $21.48. This is also available in sizes 1X through 5X. White was the only color that it came in. I got this in a 4X. So the material of this is 65% cotton, 35% polyester, which is what it said on the listing, but I didn't necessarily believe it <laughs> until I got it. And it does say polyester and cotton blend on, on the tag. So uh, I'm happy with that. It's, it's okay material. I mean, I've, I've felt nicer. It's not too, but it's not bad. It is somewhat on the see-through side. I think if you were just going to be wearing this, you probably would want some sort of camisole or something underneath it. It has a couple of pockets on the front. I do feel like the sleeves are a little big, but I think what I'll do is just move the button a bit so that I can have it be a little snugger around my wrist. It is slightly longer in the back than it is in the front. 
so kind of show you there the difference and you'll see in the try on clip I do like it it could do with maybe a little bit more shape to it maybe if there was some darts in the front to kind of give it a little bit more shape I don't know if I could have sized down it is maybe a little wider than it needs to be but seeing as I'm planning on wearing it underneath things more than likely it's not really gonna matter too much I do think it would also be a nice shirt just to wear with a pair of jeans and you know maybe a white, a white tank top underneath with it partially unbuttoned or, or even just having it open so I do like it I do think that it's worth the money and probably will keep it not a hundred percent sure on it but I do think it is a nice shirt okay the next item is the last piece of clothing that I have and it's actually a repeat purchase from my last haul so in my last haul I had a green knit vest that I had purchased and I had gotten it previously in the 5x and thought maybe it was a little bigger than it needed to be so I went ahead and ordered it in the black now that it's available in black and I got the 4x and so yeah just the same plain knit plain front plain back a couple of little pockets on the front I paid $28.48 for it it's currently $28.47 although um, three out of the five colors are currently sold out I'm really hoping that they do get them back in stock because I really wanted to get the blue version so I got the four like I said I got the 4x it is available in 1x through 5x and you'll see on my try on clip the way this one fits which in my opinion is a much better fit than the green vest that I had in my last haul I think it could have been okay but it's just just bigger than it needed to be so I'm definitely happier with the 4x and I'll either get the green in a 4x or the blue if I can manage to get the blue one if it comes back in stock I'll be getting the blue one in 4x because I, I really do like it it's great quality and uh, very nice to wear all right our next item is this push down pump dispenser so I paid 247 for this I did get a price adjustment uh, it currently is 247 pink is the only color it was available in I thought it was really cute so it's got the design on the front and the back of it it is just plastic it does honestly feel a little on the cheap side I'm planning on using it for now I don't know how you pronounce this micellar water micellar water I'm not sure how it's properly pronounced but for removing makeup so that is my intent for this so it just has a flip top cap and then this part here actually does rotate so it is in a locked position initially so it won't push down but then you can rotate it and then it pushes down so you'll get the liquid out I liked that feature just because you know if you're traveling and you and you take this with you the last thing you want is it spilling over over all over your stuff the fact that you can lock it I think is a great feature so yeah I do like it it but just if you're thinking about purchasing it just be forewarned it is kind of cheap looking in person definitely think it looks nicer on camera than what it really is in person but it's nice I do like it this next item is a eyebrow shaping ruler I paid 89 cents for it currently it is 98 cents you can get it in the white color black pink or blue Although it is advertised for shaping your eyebrows, I hardly have eyebrows, <laughs> to be honest. So I don't really need it for that. I'm planning on using it for when I'm doing sewing projects so that if I'm hemming something that I have something to measure that I can just adjust it to whatever size hem that I'm doing and then I can just you know use it to measure around as I'm pinning whatever it is that I'm sewing to make sure that I'm getting an even hem so it is just made of plastic it's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily feel super sturdy but it'll be fine for what I wanted it for and it's under a dollar so 
can't really complain about the quality. The next item is for using to do your nails and it is a nail art stamper. This was $1.49 when I purchased it. I did get a price adjustment. Currently it is $1.34. It comes with this little clear plastic piece, I guess for if you're doing designs on your nails. And then it's got a lid on it. And then this is just like a silicone piece that's in here. Now, I got this because I like, if I'm doing my nails, I like doing French manicures. And I always have a hard time getting it even on my nail tips. So I really thought this would be a, an easy way to do it. It does say more for square tips. So, and I don't really like my nails squared off. I like them more rounded. So I'm not 100% sure how it'll work. Hopefully it works, but you would just put yeah, whatever color you're using for your tips and on here, just put some on there and then you would just press, press your nail into it. And then it will put the nail polish on the tip of your fingernail. So I like that it's clear so you can see through so can, then you can easily see, you know, what you're doing. And then the silicone part can just pop out for cleaning and stuff. It also is useful for doing nail designs. I've never done that. So I don't really know how they're done, but I, I know I've seen little stencils. So I'm guessing you maybe would put the stencil on the little card that they give you, put some nail polish on in the stencil and then wipe off the excess and then you know push this down on to get the nail polish and then push it onto your nail if i'm wrong <laughs> somebody can correct me in the comments but that would be my thoughts as to how you would use it for doing nail stamps next we're getting into some craft things my intention with the next two items is to to make some keychains this next item is a 50 piece set of keychain hooks so there's two different pieces in here and you get 25 of each of them. I paid $4.94, currently it is $4.49. So you get 25 lobster clips. So just like that with the, the opening and then some just rings. But I was expecting this ring part to be bigger. I mean, in the picture, it looks like it's bigger than this part of the lobster claw. And it's really not, it's about the same width. So the picture is a little deceiving because it does make these look bigger than the ring on, on the lobster clip. It'll work for me regardless, small size little things because I don't carry a lot of keys. If I make a keychain and gift it to somebody or if I sell some that I've made, and this ring is just not big enough for, for what people want. I'm sure most people probably have other keychains sitting around that they can just steal the little circle part from. On the listing I purchased from, there was only the silver tone. There are plenty of other listings on Timu and you have your choice of different tone, different colored ones, silver, gold, rose gold, uh, probably like a black, I'm not 100% sure, but um, definitely lots of choices out there. Our next item is a package of keychain tassels. They're faux leather. I paid $1.79 for these. I did get a price adjustment. They're currently $1.52. I got three packs of these and all three I got were like the multicolored set. You can also purchase them in just individual colors. So they have you know these 10 colors that are in here and you can buy packages that just has like 10 yellow or 10 white or 10 pink or whatever you want so quality wise they're okay i was thinking that the silver part let me grab one here i was really thinking that this silver part would be metal but it's not it's just plastic and it might have said that in the listing i i don't know for sure I also thought that they were gonna be a little bit bigger than these. It does say that they're just an inch and a half, but yeah, I, I guess I just wasn't really thinking about how big an inch and a half is. I've seen 
these types of tassel things before in Michaels and I'd say they're probably more like this kind of size so you know that's on me I should have checked I should have looked at the listing and and seen exactly what the size was but I was expecting something like this long to me this is kind of silly to stick on <laughs> on a keychain so I did request a to return them and got a refund for the three packages that I purchased without the need to return them. So the next item I got, I won from playing Fishland and it is a UV resin kit that comes with 400 grams worth of resin. So it came just packaged in this bag. This item has been discontinued. The resin is still available so you can buy just the resin in various quantities. For the 400 grams of resin that I got, you can buy, which is four bottles, 400 gram bottles. You can buy that for around $26. The kit comes with 400 gram bottles of resin, as well as four of these tips. So, which you just can unscrew and then use the resin and then just put the lid back on for storage. It comes with a little UV lamp as well, a little folding UV lamp which has a little instructions and the power cord. It is a six watt maximum light and it has a default of like when you turn it on, it goes on for 60 seconds and then it shuts off. Along with the kit also came this silicone mat to use while you're working with the resin to protect your work surface. And they also threw in a pair of gloves I wouldn't use these, I'll use like rubber gloves, but it is kind of nice that they, they throw them in there for you. I haven't tried it yet. I was thinking that I would maybe do a video and maybe make some things with the resin and just test it out and review how, what I think of it. But as far as the description, it's supposed to be fast curing and it's also supposed to, to cure and be very clear. And based on the reviews that I saw, most people seem to really like it. Uh, there was a couple of reviews that said it was the best resin that they've ever used, about how clear it was and how easy it is to use. So I'm looking forward to, to giving it a try. And like I said, I'll probably do that in a video that I will upload separately. Next, I have a silicone mold. And my intent with this is to make some resin letters to make keychains. So I paid $5.48 for this. Currently it is $4.39. So there are two styles available. One where the letters are facing the right way and then they also have a set that where the letters are all reversed. And that is what I got. I wanted to get the ones where they were backwards because I thought then the bottom, the, the resin that's in the bottom of the mold then is ultimately going to be the top surface of whatever you're, of what you're making. And I thought maybe that would give a nicer surface. So I could be wrong on that. That might not work out in my favor, but that was my theory behind why I purchased the one I did. Size wise, this is about 14 inches long and about seven and a half inches tall. So each letter is about uh, an inch and a half tall. So I thought that was a good, fairly good size for if I want to make some keychains. Next item I need for making my, <laughs> my keychains is a handheld electric mini drill. I paid $11.06 for this. It is currently sold out with the seller that I purchased it from, but there's multiples on there from other sellers. This was listed as being USB rechargeable so that you could use it cordless. It is not. I don't know why they would say it was cordless because yeah, this is hardwired. So, but it is a USB cord and the cord is about 1.8 meters in length. So it's a good length cord, so that's not a problem. It comes with a little Allen key tool in the bag there so and that's just for using on this little part if you're needing to tighten or loosen it and then there's also three different bits two are 1.2 millimeter in diameter and then there is one that is one millimeter to put the bit in you just uh, loosen this part here 
anybody who's used a regular drill would know. Um, and then you just slide the bit in. If I can see. <laughs> just slide the drill bit in and then you tighten it back down again. So then you've got the drill bit in there. I had it plugged in earlier. So it does seem like a fairly good little drill. Like I think it seems, sounds pretty powerful. So it does have a on off button on the cord. And then I will just show you. So yeah. I think it'll definitely do the job. I got it for drilling into resin pieces that I make in order to be able to put like screw hooks into them so that you can attach them to like a keychain or whatever. So I'm hopeful that it works well. Next, I just purchased these little heart shaped sequins. They're iridescent. I paid $1.34 for these. They are currently $1.48 and you're getting about 10 grams of sequins. The sequins are approximately four millimeters in size. I got this multicolor pack. You can also buy a pack of just like one individual color. Eight different options for if you just want solid colors. There's uh, white ones, pink, yellow, blue, and there are two different shades of purple, like a darker purple and a lighter purple probably. The lighter purple would be like the purple that's in this. And then there are two shades of green, a darker green and a lighter green. So yeah. I think they're cute. So the next item I got was a set of 12 colored eternal pencils. So these are the colors that you get. I paid $7.48 for these. I did get a price adjustment. Currently the price for them is $9.48. I on a previous haul purchased just a regular pencil, eternal pencil, and I really liked it. So I like that they don't break easily. I like that you don't have to sharpen them. And when they get that they're almost out, rather than having to repurchase a whole new set, you can just buy new replacement tips. So those just screw off. And so you can just order a set of these pieces. On the listing I purchased this from, you could buy them as, you know, the pen, the case of the pencil matched the color of the pencil or they had a set that was all the same color of pencil on the outside and then the different colors on the inside I they were I think they might have been slightly cheaper for that set but I didn't see a lot of point in that because I mean if you're using colored pencils you want to be able to pick up the color you want you don't want to have to keep opening it them to find the right one that you're looking for so that would make a whole lot of sense to me as i said i have hauled just a regular one of these before just like a regular pencil one and i really liked it i mentioned on that video the fact that i think it's silly that the eraser is inside so you actually have to screw the pencil apart to be able to get the to the eraser I think that's a silly kind of way that it's made so but I do like them I did kind of scribble on a piece of paper just to kind of show the colors and then they're supposed to be erasable so I did use the little eraser in here to erase so it's it's not like a super super clean you can still sort of see the color there but it's it's pretty good that's my only complaint is just the uh, color choices that you you get could have been a little bit better in my opinion so the next item is a package of razor blades re replacement razor blades so i got a pack of 20 and they are all individually wrapped for safety so i paid 348 for the pack currently they are 219 for the pack of 20 or you can also buy a pack of 50 of them for 609 so they are single-sided so they're only sharp on this side this side has a piece of metal wrapped around it so that you can hold on to it there i have the tool that i use these with somewhere but of course i couldn't find it today but this is what it looks like it's just like a little handle part like that and then the blade fits in the end of it so 
I use these for cleaning my glass top stove. This works really well for if you've got stuff that got burnt onto the stovetop surface or just something spilled and it dried. This, these work really, really well for scraping it. And as long as you're not too rough or, or trying to go too fast and you keep it at a, a low angle, there's, you're not gonna scratch the surface. So I've been using these for cleaning my cooktop surface for a while and I don't have any issues with any damage being caused by them. I really like these and they're gonna be really useful. Maybe I'm gonna have to buy a new handle off of Timu as well. The next item I have is a mobile phone or tablet clamp holder. I had purchased one of these before, I actually had it in one of my more recent hauls, a, a white version that is only sized that you can use it for phones. And I like it. It does work well, so that's why I thought I would maybe go ahead and order this one, the bigger size that would hold the tablet. I only paid $7.44 for this, which I thought was a really good deal. Currently it is $8.45 and you can get it in black or you can get it in white. So the stand part can stretch out to be 27 and a half inches long and the holder part will fit devices from 4.7 inches all the way up to 9.8 inches. So it pulls out a fair bit. This also rotates 360 degrees. The smaller version does work well and the listing that it was from also had a tablet version, but it was more expensive than this and they look pretty similar. So I don't know if there's any difference because this the phone one I have works fine and it might just be the weight of my iPad but it just didn't hold it just doesn't hold it very well so it just has this screw part and then this opens up so that you can put it on whatever you're putting it on so if you want to attach it to a table and then you just tighten tighten this back down again I really wanted it for my tablet because my elbows and arms tend to get sore from holding on to my tablet because I do have a bit of arthritis. So I thought if I could use it just sitting somewhere that it would be ideal. But when I tried to use it, it just, once I had this stretched out a bit, it just wasn't really strong enough to hold the weight of the tablet. So maybe I just need to try it again and have it better secured to something with the clamp but it just didn't seem as good as the other one I have. So I will try it again. If it ends up working out, then maybe I can give an update. I mean, it is basically stretched to its max to fit my iPad. I actually had to take my iPad out of its case to get it to fit because it is stretched to the max with my iPad and even just that thin case that's on it is just was just too much. So I'm not 100% sure if I'll keep this or not. If it doesn't work, if it just flops with the weight of the, the iPad, then I'll probably return this because I already have, I actually have two of the white ones that are meant for phones. So I certainly don't need another one for, for a phone. So my next item is USB-C to USB-C cables. They're about six and a half feet long. I paid $4.48 for this and I got a price adjustment. Currently they're $3.81. I had an issue with this because the listing indicates it's a it says three packs of USB-C to USB-C cables and then it says you can get in the options there are pink, I mean they call it rose red, but pink or you can get a multicolor set. So I ordered the pink and when I received it, this was the first one I received, there was only one wire in it. So I did go to the Timu support and ultimately it ended up just being, you know, the bot. When you're contacting it, I didn't actually get a person. So I tried to say what the issue was, the fact that it is listed as a three pack and I only received one. But really the only thing it was taking from it is that there was pieces missing. So it just said it would have another one sent out to me, which is this one that I got. And again, I only got one wire. So 
I did put a review on the listing and I indicated the fact that the listing says it's a three pack and I only received one. So it is a good quality cable. I've been using the first one I got for a while now and I'm really happy with it. It does seem to charge quickly and the braided cords are, are always good for, you know, durability. But, and I can't really complain too much because ultimately I ended up with two of these cords for 448, but it is listed as a three pack. And if it's listed as a three pack and that's what you click on to buy, it should be what you get. So just know if you click on that link and you order, you're more than likely gonna get one cord. You're not likely gonna get three. And I mean, the, the multi-pack is what the picture, initial picture shows. So it shows a pink, a blue, and a red. So it has multi-pack and it shows three colors. So you would expect to get three. So I don't know. I don't know if I should again attempt to contact them just to let Timu know that the listing is deceptive or whether just to let it go. Cause I mean, other people are gonna have the same issue. Although like looking at the reviews, nobody else seemed to have an issue with it. So I don't, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe even though it says three packs, maybe I'm crazy to think that I was gonna get three cords for 448. This next item is a flex edge beater blade for a KitchenAid mixer. This one specifically is for the six quart lift stand, bowl lift stand mixer. Um, I got this for free actually. I've had it for a while, but shortly after I got it, it was discontinued so you couldn't get it. So I wasn't gonna bother hauling it. More recently, it has been back in stock. Although of course, when I go to haul it, it's currently out of stock, but when I got it, I had created a second Timu account and sent myself an invite. And when I did that, it gave me the option of buying two items and getting eight items free. <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> I, I took advantage of that. So this is one of the things I got for free. I can't remember exactly, but I believe it was maybe around... 15 or 16 dollars if you were going to be buying it the same item on amazon the cheapest i've seen it is 25 so definitely if you can snag it when it's in stock on timu it's definitely a good deal we've used this multiple times and it works great and fits the mixer great and and it works well so like i said if you can snag it when it's in stock it's definitely a good deal over what you would pay for it elsewhere. Okay, so our final item for today is this little handheld fan. It is a portable fan that you can use in your hand or it does come with a stand so you can have it just sitting on the stand. So this is what it looks like. I paid $8.43 for it. I did get a price adjustment. The current price, I got it when it was on sale. It might've been a lightning deal. The current price for it is $13.98. You can get it in this color, which it's looking kind of black on, on screen, but it's a, like a dark blue. And then they also have a dark green color, a purple color and a pink color. It is USB rechargeable. So it comes with its little cord. It comes with the little instructions. And then it's got its little stand. So like I said, you can use it handheld or you can put it in the stand. And the stand actually also works as a phone stand. So you can put your phone on there. So I thought that was kind of a, a neat feature with the stand. This does also bend 90 degrees. So you can have it on like different configurations. As well as the stand and being able to use it handheld, it does come with a lanyard. And there's like little connection points for the lanyard on either side. So you can connect that and you can hang it around your neck. So that would be more when you probably have it tilted because then it would hang around your neck like this and then be blowing up at you. 
So another neat feature that it has is you can remove this front cover of the blade, which is great for if you're cleaning, wanting to clean it, you can just pull that off and, and wash it. But it also has a little spot on here and it did come with one, but it's just like a little felt circle. And you just fit that on here and then put it back on. It has something on it. It doesn't necessarily smell, <laughs> doesn't necessarily smell great. It kind of smells like a cleaner or something, but well, not maybe not a cleaner, maybe something medicinal. So, but you can add, like I'm sure that that'll dry out eventually. And then you can add your own essential oils to it. So you can have whatever oil scent you want on it and then just close it. And then when you're using it, you're going to get some of that, that scent. So it does have five settings. So there's one and it does come up and show you what the battery percentage is. That's level two, three, four, five, and then off. So it is a nice little powerful fan. I really like this fan. According to the listing, if you're using this on the lowest speed, the battery will last for about 12 hours. And on the highest speed, it would last for about eight hours. I haven't tested this to see whether or not it's accurate as far as how long it lasts, but I'm sure even if it doesn't last as long as it says, it'll definitely last longer than the one that I currently have. So yeah, I'm super happy with this and definitely would recommend it. It is $13.98 right now. I would say it's worth that price, but if you can get it on a deal, that would be even better. I, I would potentially pick up another one. I, I really like it. I think the quality of it is great. I think it looks very nice. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend this. All right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.